I can tell you why many people are struggling today. They don't hear anything from the realm of God and they don't see anything from the realm of God. The devil will be powerful in your life to the degree that you are blind and deaf in the spirit. The moment you hear and see, you will be shocked how things will happen with ease. I told you some of my stories yesterday. Who will go and look for you in Makodi? For what? Nothing is happening there. 90% of the people in Benue are civil servants. I know people that have been in ministry there for 30 years, serving God faithfully. When you come, you know that they stand with you You say, this is a man of God. But in those 30 years, they have been in a hall that sits 100 people. And that's their biggest breakthrough. But right there in Benue, I laid down praying and I saw an eagle. And when I looked at the eagle, I was hanging on the wings of that eagle. And as the eagle stretched the wings, it was moving from state to state, from nation to nation. The moment I saw it, the moment I saw it, doors began to open. I was the HOD of chemistry in a secondary school with master's degree because myself was a victim of the environment. If you don't see and hear, you'll be a victim. I was a HOD. How much were they paying me with master's degree? 25,000. And out of this 25,000, I will use 12,000 to pay Okada. Because if you don't pay ahead of time and you spend the money, you will trek. So you will pay. The moment you collect salary, you pay for next month. They bring you to work, they take you back. I was sitting in my lab, mixing chemicals and reagents, when people began to call. Are you Apostle Rook? I say yes. They say, please, can you come to Port Harcourt? I say, why not? What am I doing here? <laughs> if you want me to come today, I will come today. As I'm calling somebody that, oh boy, I'm going to Port Harcourt. Another call will enter. Are you Apostle Rook? I say yes. He said, can you come to Elori? What is your date? I'm coming there now. And doors began to open. Doors began to open. I sat where I was sitting. I'd been in ministry preaching for more than 13 years. We opened a music, a dance group. We called it NKGC. <laughs> we will come to church and preach with dancing. We finished that one. We did secondary school outreach. We did all kinds of things. When this thing opened in three months, I had invitation from 17 nations. Did the message change? No. What changed? I had seen something. The moment I saw that ego, my journey began. Because you can be sitting, somebody will tell somebody. Somebody called me from Russia. He said his friend called him from Germany and sent him my clip and said, hear this person. He was busy. He didn't have time. The friend called him in the night. Have you heard that person? He said, what is this person saying that I must hear? He said, hear him. The next day, he still called him on international call. Hear this person. Because something had moved. Something had moved. It's not about ministry. You can be selling slippers. Wait until you hear and see. Somebody will come. Somebody will tell somebody to tell somebody. Somebody will tell another person to tell another person. And from selling slippers, you can build mansions. Not because the slippers is special, but you have heard something. When a spirit talks to you, you are implicated for progress. When you see from the realm of a spirit, the things that are in that realm begins to happen to you. This is why wise men fight to hear and to see. Because they know the solution is not in running around. See what failures do. They are trying to seek favor with men. They come here, they explain themselves. You know I didn't do it. Please, I'm honest. Please, they come here. Even when they are doing something, they can't be themselves. If they are standing here and three people are standing, they are trying not to offend this one. They are trying not to offend this one. So they are a shadow of themselves. But men who here, when they show up, if you like, the one million. They are following what they saw. They are following what they heard. And as they are following it, those who like them we are lying. Those who don't like them don't have a choice. Because they are propelled by an invincible force. 
men go forward because of the things they have seen and they have heard. Because when you hear from heaven, your experiences become the experiences of heaven. 